What's going on guys? Friday afternoon. Got a PSA reveal I wanted to share with you. A few other things. Get my weekend started with a tall, tall boy. Oh, that's good. That's probably the end of the weekend right there. I ain't getting shit done. <laughs> All right, first card. This is not a submission. This is just a pickup. But I have a few of these, and I, I just didn't have any I thought were worthy of sending in. So I picked that nine up for about ten bucks. Devin Hester, rookie, for the registry. And okay, now for the uh, submissions. This uh, Ricky Waters rookie came back in nine, and this was just kind of a filler. I kind of needed one more card to add to the submission. This was close by, so I just kind of picked it up and threw it in. Didn't examine it real well, but hey, came back in nine, so cool. Next up, we got a uh, Lance Briggs, Upper Deck MVP. Not the registry rookie that they're looking for, but still nice to have a uh, Briggs rookie. This is just something in my PC that I threw in, came back in nine. Very cool. A Devin Hester, rookie out of 06 Finest. I really like the mid-2000 Finest cards. I may try to do a couple runs out of those sets, but uh, this one came back at 10. I believe that was a COMC purchase, but I can't remember. And speaking of runs, here's one that I'm trying to put together. The 09 Bowman Chrome Matt Forte came back at 10. That's the base, shiny, shiny. And I also sent in the Blue Refractor, numbered out of 150. It came back at 10. Very cool. Those cards just pop in those cases. I'm really liking them. I got the gold numbered to 50, but it's got a pretty serious uh, surface flaw, so I'm not going to send it in. I'll have to try to get another one. All right, now to the registry cards. This one's been sitting around in my collection. This is for the all-time greats, uh, James Williams. It came back an 8, but, you know, honestly, I thought it would come back an 8, kind of hoping for a 9, so I'm not disappointed in this. Plus, I cannot find this card slabbed for sale anywhere, so... Now I got one in my registry. Same thing with this one, uh, the uh, Bowman Chrome. I don't remember where I got this card from, but uh, just another one of those that I couldn't find slab, so I took a chance, and I was thinking I might get a 9 on it, but hey, came back a 10. Awesome. And the last one here, same deal, can't find this card slabbed anywhere. It came back a 10. The SP Authentic, Henry Melton. Probably my second favorite defensive lineman post 85 bears uh tommy harris is my first and this guy's a close second he was fun to watch but this is for the uh all pro registry i don't believe he's on the all-time greats but yeah that's it guys i had one more card i sent in a uh 2008 i believe it was uh tops chrome brian erlacher blue refractor but it got mislabeled so manny's taking care of that for me right now and i should have that back in a couple weeks Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, PSA, guys, I have a little bit of a question here. Um, I've been having fun doing the whole grading thing, and the biggest pain in the ass has been trying to navigate the PSA uh, website. But I'm thinking about doing, like, a little prospecting. So to give you an example, this guy, this is his only rookie card, and he made the Pro Bowl this year, so I'm assuming eventually he's going to get added on to the to the Pro Bowl registry. So I'm going to send this in, being in, that it's his only rookie card. No biggie there. But say you got somebody like this, who's pretty much in every single product. How are you guys guessing what card's going to make it in? Because I have no clue. I've heard people say that the Don Russ is most like the flagship tops, and Prism is another uh, brand I'm hearing a lot about. But I don't know. I'm curious to your opinions on that. Uh, let me know. Now, this uh, another guy, Kyle Fuller, a bunch of his rookies from 2014. Now, I found in the Bears' first-round draft pick registry that they have the 2014 certified as part of that registry. So I'm assuming that that card will also be a part of the Pro Bowl registry eventually. Uh, I mean, am I wrong in assuming that? Uh, I, I don't know. You guys tell me. Educate me, PSA guys. I need to know. But yeah, that's oh, one more question. Let's just say this was a uh, a Topps Chrome, right? And it's in the registry. Do I have to have the Topps Chrome base? Say I sent in a parallel or a refractor. It had the same card number on the back and everything. It was just a variation of the base cards. Are those accepted in registries? 
Uh, I'm curious to know that too. I've kind of looked around and tried to see if there's some in there, but that, you know, that just takes forever and I ain't got that kind of time. So maybe somebody out there knows, like uh, that first card I showed. I mean, there's a couple here. There's a special edition and then there's all the, you know, the refractors and the parallels. Would they be accepted into the registry like this base is? That's my question. If you know, if you don't know and you just have a theory on it, let me know because I'm curious about everybody's thoughts. But that's it, guys. That's what I got for you today. I've been picking up stuff like this, you know, for the registry. I'm having fun with the, the thrill to hunt type deal. I can never find this card centered. But I'm just probably going to send that in and see what the heck happens. And I got a few others coming in that, you know, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm up to. Uh, nothing else really new to report. Like I said, I'm trying to do a little prospecting. So I'm trying to, I guess, guess. I know on the PSA website you can go on there and you can request a card be added, like after it's graded. But it just, it seems to me it would make a little bit more sense to decide on what the card, what card you're going to use before you go out grading. But I don't know. I welcome any and all information and opinions on that subject. Please educate me. All right, guys. I got a lot of shit to do this weekend, a lot of beer to drink. I'm sure you guys do too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend.